Manny, this way. Front, front. so much to offer. Uh, there will be a splendid fight uh, on HBO uh, this uh, Saturday night uh, in Atlantic City, uh, Boardwalk Hall. Uh, the great Cuban uh, fighter Eureka Scamboa uh, will go up against Daniel Ponce de Leon uh, in the main event. Uh, and uh, uh, there will be uh, a delayed telecast of the klitschko Adamic fight uh, earlier that afternoon uh, from Europe. So it's a great evening of boxing this Saturday, uh, September 10th. I'd like now to introduce uh, to you uh, the two of the people who won't be speaking but are here with Manny. Uh, is uh, Chief of Staff in Congress and longtime uh, attorney Franklin Yakal. And his advisor, Michael Kantz. Michael. <laughs> Michael, Michael, uh, Michael brings responses from the crowd. Uh, but uh, uh, as the advisor, very often he is the person who is attacked uh, for something that has to be done, uh, but uh, it's done in Michael's name because we say, what the hell, if any, anyway, going to be blamed, it might as be Michael. <laughs> Juan Manuel is uh, accompanied here today uh, with, by one of the leading trainers in the world. Uh, he was recently inducted uh, into the Boxing Hall of Fame in Canasota, New York. Ed Brophy, uh, the head of the Hall of Fame, uh, came down here today uh, to be at this press conference. Uh, Nacho Beristein has handled some of the greatest fighters in Mexico. Uh, he is as legendary uh, in Mexico as Manny's trainer, Freddie Roach, is in the United States. I'd like you all to welcome Nacho Beristein. I don't, I don't have much to say. Uh, you know, this is a very natural fight. You're going to see a third war between Mexico and the Philippines. I want to thank uh, the Philippines uh, for uh, the great uh, warm reception that we got down there. It has been great. Those people really were nice to us and I really want to send my best to them. We know that this time around we are facing a very tough uh, Manny Pacquiao who's uh, really developed into a great fighter thanks to his great trainer, Freddie Roach. Ha 
pesos aparte es un pegador contundente. He just developed overall as a great boxer and you know and with his strength and his power, he just a complete package. Esperamos esta nueva oportunidad tener el chance de poderlo vencer sería grandioso para mi peleador. You know, we think we have the opportunity here to, to give, make a big statement. I think it would be great for my fighter to be a, a Manny Pacquiao at this stage of his career. Insisto en que en la segunda pelea el esfuerzo de mi peleador no fue lo suficiente como para vencer a la influencia del señor Bob Arum. I believe that for that uh, second fight, uh, my fighter, his effort was uh, great. He just wasn't good enough to, uh, to get the decisions. De la pelea, eso. And I think the fact that he, uh, his promoter, Boom uh, you know, you sometimes uh, that weights itself into a decision, a close fight. Felicitar también a, a señor Freddy Roche porque ha demostrado últimamente ser un gran, pero gran entrenador. I also want to congratulate Freddy Roche, who's turn, turning into a great, great trainer. And to uh, Oxley, he's actually uh, working with some of the best prospects in Mexico now, and uh, he's just shown uh, how much he can do with fighters. And, and I want to congratulate Manny Pacquiao with all his achievements in the ring, and especially his political career. Uh, that is a great, great uh, country for him to be leading. Esperamos que ahora estamos en la misma esquina de antes. La influencia del señor Bob Arum no funciona nuevamente. Gracias. And we hope, uh, we hopefully now that we with Bob Arum, that will help us uh, at least even at the, the match. <laughs> to demonstrate my lack of uh, influence, uh, I don't know if any of you realize this, but the first time these two guys fought, uh, I was Juan Manuel's promoter, <laughs> and Manny had another promoter. <laughs> Second time they fought, I was Manny's promoter, and Juan Manuel had another promoter. So now, I'm there, I promote both of them. So, uh, this puts me in a lot more comfortable uh, position. Uh, Freddie Roach uh, needs no introduction. Uh, he was unable to come with us to the Philippines because he was with the Olympic, U.S. Olympic boxing team giving them uh, some advice uh, in Colorado Springs. Uh, his loss in not being in the Philippines was substantial. Freddie, you cannot imagine how many young women came up to me with tears in their eyes saying, where is Freddie? Where is Freddie? I says, not my fault. I had a ticket for him, but he, he's with the U.S. Olympic boxing team. So it's a pleasure to introduce uh, one of the great trainers of all time, one of the great trainers in the world today, and also based on uh, a sample poll of these beautiful Philippine women. Quite a lover, Freddie Rhodes. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed it, the, the, the trip. <laughs> so, but um, um, this is a big fight. Um, we've we had two, two tremendous fights, and I expect the third one to be the same. You know, a Nacho, a Hall of Famer, um, something I would look forward to being someday. And um, his fighter is just, uh, I mean, Getting up from three knockdowns the first time and then one knockdown on the second time, just he has more balls in the world than anyone. And he's just a tough fighter, and I expect another tough fight, and may the best may win. Thank you. Juan Manuel presents a puzzle for Manny Pacquiao that the truth is that he has not solved 
really in 24 rounds. And that puzzle is that, in our opinion, Juan Manuel Marquez is the greatest counterpuncher in boxing today and probably the greatest counterpuncher in the last 30 years. And Manny Pacquiao is an aggressive fighter that comes forward. And so therefore, Juan Manuel's style is a perfect answer for Manny's uh, major uh, uh, points. And so, one has to ask himself, because the weight stuff, that's nonsense. They're both going to go into the ring weighing the same weight, just the way they did when they fought the two prior fights. They're older now, they can carry a little bit more weight. Juan Manuel, when you look at him against all these aggressive fighters that he fought, Casitas, Diaz, you see somebody who is superb as a counterpuncher. Aha, you say, what about the Mayweather fight where he didn't look good? Well, that's, again, styles make, styles make fight. Mayweather is a defensive fighter. If you're a counterpuncher, you lose your advantage against a defensive fighter because as a counterpuncher, you need somebody to make the fight against you. And so I am looking forward to this fight to be another classic. Now let me say uh, a few words about Juan Manuel Marquez. Uh, we brought you over to the Philippines. You know, they love Manny Pacquiao. The Filipinos are unbelievable fans of Pacquiao. And I, for one, was troubled by the reception you might receive. But you handled yourself in such a manner that the Filipino people fell in love with you. And they uh, reacted to you in such a way that I can truly say that next to Manny Pacquiao, if you ask Filipinos who their most popular fighter is, they would say Juan Manuel Marquez. You're a terrific young man, maybe not so young anymore, but terrific guy, and uh, you're a great, great fighter, and you're a great credit to the country of Mexico. Uh, please welcome one of the leading fighters in the world, Juan Manuel Marquez. Good, good morning everybody for being here and thanks for being here and I want to start off thanking Manny Pacquiao and his team and Mr. Bob Arum for accepting the challenge and, and also I need to thank all the people around the world to the support this fight especially the Mexican and Latinos people too. Uh, a lot of people saw a lot of people saw the last two fights ending in a controversial decision and and now and now I looking for I looking for a knockout with, with more focus and intelligence. And I invite I want to invite all the people to see that two war and now I need I need to prepare myself very hard for this fight in my strength, in my in my speed and everything. Thank you very much. Quiero, quiero, eh, quiero darle las gracias a todos por estar aquí. Eh, primero quiero dar las gracias a Manny Pacquiao, a su equipo y al señor Bobarum por aceptar el reto. Y también a toda la gente que está apoyando esta pelea en todo el mundo, pero en especial a la gente latina y a la gente mexicana que van a estar apoyando. Eh, las dos, toda la gente vio las últimas dos peleas que han acabado en decisiones controversiales. Y en esta tercera pelea voy a buscar el knockout con inteligencia, voy a buscar el knockout a como de lugar. Y quiero invitar a todos, a cada uno de, de ustedes, a que presencien esta tercera pelea que va a ser una guerra este 12 de noviembre. 
Muchas gracias y saludos a todos. A lot has happened to uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, since the last time uh, he fought uh, Juan Manuel Marquez. Uh, number one, perhaps more, most important, uh, he was elected to Congress in the Philippines, and he became Congressman Manuel Pacquiao. Uh, and uh, he is being known uh, all over the Philippines and all over the world for the good works that he's doing uh, in the Philippines, particularly in the province where he's a congressman, uh, uh, the Sarangani province. God knows the public there, the people there, need a lot of help. Many of them are living below the poverty line. And they know in Manny Pacquiao, they have a champion, a real champion, who has vowed to effectuate change uh, so that he can bring to his people uh, a better life. And that's... Uh, been, I think, one of the most important uh, steps that he's taken uh, since uh, he met Juan Manuel Marquez. He's known over the world, uh, not only for, as a great, great fighter, which he is, but also as a great humanitarian, as somebody that can lead a third world country uh, to pros prosperity, and to make a great life uh, for the wonderful people that live in that country. And through it all, he realized that he owed it to himself and to his people uh, to improve on what was already a great, great fight. So with the help of Freddie Roach, uh, Manny became a two-handed fighter. When he fought Juan Manuel Marquez the first two times, he was essentially a southpaw that relied completely on his left hand. He is now clearly a two-handed fighter. He's also improved his skills, his technique. He's a much smarter fighter now than he was then. Uh, so, uh, as much as Juan Manuel is going to improve for this fight, so Manny Pacquiao has improved uh, as a fighter and will bring the best Manny Pacquiao uh, to the ring. Manny has a schedule where he trains about eight weeks for a fight. This fight because he realizes the challenge that he has, he on his own decided to train for 10 weeks. So he knows how difficult this fight's gonna be. Uh, but he knows that a whole people, with the 90 plus million people that live in the Philippines, and the 12 to 15 million Filipinos that live outside the Philippines, uh, are counting on him when he steps into the ring. So it's a pleasure to bring to the microphone uh, the congressman from Sarangani <coughs> province, uh, the WBO welterweight champion of the world, Congressman Manny Pacquiao. Good morning, uh, everybody. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng mga Pilipino. Thank you, Mbab, and Top Rank, and HBO. Um, it's good to be back here in New York. It's a little bit rainy today, but the weather is nice and feels uh, feel like um, I'm in the Philippines. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, I'd like to invite everybody to watch on November 12th. It's going to be a, a, a great fight and a lot of action in the ring because um, 
of course, uh, Marquez he will train hard for this fight. And this is the, the <coughs> this is the the answer of all the doubts in um, in the fans' mind. In a way, um, I will train hard too and um, to give a good a good fight. And I'm pretty sure there is a lot of action in the ring because I want I want to show that something is uh, wrong and something is right. Thank you, and I'm good there.